In this video, I will solve the exercise 13.101 with you. Two bakers are placed in a sealed box at 20 degrees Celsius. One baker contains 50 ml of a 0.05 molar aqueous solution of sodium chloride. The other baker contains 50 ml of a 0.04 molar aqueous solution of calcium chloride. The water vapor from the two solutions reach equilibrium. First question. In which baker does the solution have a rise? In which does it fall? And the second question. What are the two volumes in the bakers when equilibrium is attained, assuming ideal behavior? First of all, I want to explain you quickly what osmosis is. Imagine you have two chambers filled with the exact amount of two liquids, but with different concentrations. Those two chambers are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, which is only passable for the solvent, which in our case would be water. The solvent will now diffuse from the less concentrated solution to the higher concentrated, until equilibrium is reached. At that point, we have the same osmolarity in each solution. Let's come to the first question. In which baker does the solution level rise and in which does it fall? We know that the first baker contains 50 ml of a 0.05 molar solution of sodium chloride. In the other baker we have 50 ml of a 0.04 molar solution of calcium chloride. Sodium chloride consists of two ions, sodium and chlorine. This means we have an ion concentration of 2 times 0.05. 0.05 which equals 0 0.10. Calcium chloride provides three ions, calcium, chlorine and the second chlorine. 3 times 0 0.04 equals 0 0.12 ions. Since 0 0.12 is bigger than 0 0.10, the solution will fall in the first baker and rise in the second baker because calcium chloride has a higher particle concentration. In the second task, we want to know how much the volume will change in each baker. Let x be the amount of transported water between the two bakers. Then we will get the following calculation. 0 0.10 times 50 divided by 50 minus x equals 0 0.12 times 50 divided by 50 plus x. If we now multiply with the determinators, we will get 5 multiplied by 50 plus x equals 6 times 50 minus x. Summarized, we have 250 plus 5x equals 300 minus 6x. Next, we subtract 250 and add 6x. Now we have 11x equals 50. Divided by 11, we will get x equals 4.55 ml as our result. The new volume of the sodium chloride is 45.5 ml and the volume of the calcium chloride is 54.5 ml.